okay so here we are uh, it's finished so it took uh, if you look at the time over here it took 30 minutes nearly to complete uh, so uh, and the five iterations so it was going down to five uh, five uh, 500,000 and the last iteration was going while well, still was going down uh, if you run it a little bit more we'll go down a little bit uh, the RW is 18 so this is actually a complex analysis so it's sufficiently good uh, because uh, we have uh, 2,000 well 1,000 nearly 1,000 uh, a little bit more than 1,000 but if you check over here, let's check for the waveness. We were checking something like over here, the correction. Now, now you see that we are correcting exactly for the waveness and even the out, out of sample, okay? The sample going a little bit out. If you look at the final parameter, yeah, there was a big displacement, especially in X of the sample, 3 millimeter. so this is quite big. Z, uh, a little bit uh, 0 0.6. Well, take into account, uh, we, we have a big uh, beam on neutron, so these are... And uh, the dimension were refined over here, so over 10 something. Okay, so this was taken into account. If we want to look uh, at the moment texture, so it was uh, we were refining the harmonic parameter. Okay, we can texture plot. Uh, check over here, and we check, for example, the first four parameter reconstructed intensity. Let's check with a little bit bigger, so more points, so we get a better. This. Uh, increase the length of the computation but will get us a better point figure while it's sufficiently quick with the harmonic so here we get uh, the pole figure okay well you see this scale over here if you want to get rid of them so it's actually the texture is not too small we go from 0 0.4 to 2.2 2, 2, okay and if we increase here just to get better uh, smoother uh, pole figure. The zoom factor controls how big are on the screen the, the pole figure. Okay, 201. Yeah, you see they are smoother. And if you put uh, uh, for publication, it's better to put 400, at least 400 points for the computation. Okay, so we have two pole over here. Okay. In the sample, this is our texture for them. Okay, if we want to check now, we want to. Okay, I want to save. Oh, let's see first in the preference where are now the analysis uh, is in order. Okay, iteration, save after iteration. Okay, so this one is false. So uh, if you put uh, uh, this one to true, okay, after every iteration, mod will save a file, okay. Okay, and uh, let's see if there are other par new, par new preference to mention. Uh, not that I remember. Okay. Okay. And in the console you get also uh, all the RWP 
for every pattern so you can check uh, each one and see if there are some in which maybe like uh, this one is a little bit higher okay you can check uh, which one is working less or more okay now let's see how we can do instead uh, a texture analysis using Evinf okay that uh, need only to change actually here in sample we change the texture model so we go to Evinf okay and Evinf you have a different option so symmetry Okay, like for the harmonic, uh, here we do no symmetry, so track tra clean example symmetry. Or you can go up to fiber or cylindrical, okay? Uh, so we don't, we suppose we don't have any uh, symmetry in our texture, okay? ODF 15, the default is safe, but is quite large, so we should go with uh, 10, we have quite a not uh, too sharp text so then should work sufficiently well okay iteration these are for even keep it at 10 is okay and uh, under the advanced option here uh, if we you leave a minimum reflection intensity to zero we we'll use all the reflection intensity in the pattern or if you set for example 0 0.05 we will not use the, the reflection uh, that are less than 5% in intensity respect to the biggest one, okay? So taking the biggest one has one, 0, 0, 0.05 is the... So we'll take only reflection for texture, we'll only use the reflection higher than 5% the maximum one, okay? Or you can limit in D, so not using reflection with the D spacing uh, smaller than this value, okay? So you can limit the, the reflection at a high angle or whatever. Okay, let's try with 5% only using the intensity, hmm? okay? Or if you want to put here, we can put 0 0.05, not, uh, also not using the, or 0 0.07, okay? So we will use only a few of them. That will be quicker, okay? Okay, okay, okay. But actually, normally in even uh, here I would like to use that because there is a high overlapping. Otherwise, my advice is no, with normal. normally, if you don't have problem, use all the reflection that you have in the pattern, okay? So now, you go the same, okay? So you just refine. If we want just to, uh, well, we go to refine, but actually let's change the number of iteration. So I got it option. We just do one iteration, okay? So just uh, we don't go more than one iteration. Just so he will. Uh, extract the texture, do with even and back and optimize a little bit the intensity whatever. let's go, okay and see now the even cycle will start okay, we'll do the extraction uh, at the first computation then we compute, we'll make one iteration, compute all the new factor and then the extraction for even will start again and then compute again the new ODF and use it for the final computation. Okay, let's see, still starting. Okay, there is still the problem that uh, quick time is taking. Yeah, so I can go up to 200, so now this is only taking not uh, even not uh, one full core, but okay, 85, 84% is sufficient, okay? Let's see, we don't have any error message here, 
Okay, so everything is fine. Okay, now has started. Now here is the extraction. This work in progress is uh, extracting with Lebile the difference between the um, the random intensity and the texture intensity for each pattern and each reflection. So if we have a lot of file, like in our case, we'll take a bit, then this for each data set, we have only one, now is uh, uh, computing all the paths uh, inside the ODF, so for the cell angle conversion. So it's one step in it for EVINF before it can start the optimization cycle. Okay, so that uh, uh, the running of EVINF, this one, EVINF is not using any parameter, it's discretizing the space, but he need to compute the cell angle conversion uh, each time. Luckily, this will be only once for every iteration okay so we have uh, one iteration will be done at the beginning plus one after the first iteration so this will be two times okay and uh, this uh, odf cell angle conversion depend how many point you have uh, how many reflection we actually limited the reflection using the 0 0.7 and the 5%. Well, if you put, uh, for example, you limit the intensity of the reflection to over 0.1, 10%, you will cut a lot of the reflection and will go much quicker than in the computation. Okay? Well, uh, so, let's see. We we can decide to uh, stop also the video here and get the third part, okay? But, uh, and so get the third part later uh, on, okay?